biggity biggity bong. Hello, hi guys. This is Shruga Tron. So, in this case, we are in Little India. Hello, hi. Uh, so bought staying at home so I'm just thinking of like uh, coming here to little India to have a window shopping so meanwhile I'm um, thinking of just like showing you guys uh, how does it looks like here right okay as uh, everybody knows this Street. Little India, it's not something new for uh, anyone in uh, Singapore and also in Malaysia and also people from uh, across the sea. This is the road. Yeah. This is the main entrance for Little India. There's a lot of uh, new construction here. Oh, yeah. So it looks like all the shopping complex has been opened. Okay, this is called Teka Place, right? I have to wear my mask because it's compulsory, as everybody knows. So every now and then I'll try to take off my mask because maybe it's like, uh, it is suffocating a bit because this is made of cloth, not the uh, pharma uh, pharmaceutical uh, mask. So I'm gonna walk you through uh, as uh, where am I going today. Not many places, I'm just planning to have uh, something for early dinner. And uh, that's it, just uh, some kind of like uh, window shopping, that's all. Pekka Market. I'm not going to go here, or shall I? Punjabi suit selling for $14, $12, even $6. So gorgeous. You can definitely come to this Teka market. This place is awesome. I mean, you can you can spend almost like uh, maybe a few hours just walking around and looking at um, all these beautiful clothes. It's a very huge market, as you can see. There's a lot more over that side and a lot more over this side. Usually this place will be very crowded but now you don't see that much of crowd which is because of this uh, uh, the COVID. That's why you, you don't really see much people uh, coming around nowadays. Once it's get back to normal, uh, you can see a lot of people will be like you know, shopping over here. Teka so much because there's a lot of things to see here and uh, you can just simply spend uh, half a day looking around and doing window shopping and of course you can get a lot of things over here uh, anything and everything that uh, uh, you want to get especially uh, if you want to spend the entire day in, in, in Teka you can actually spend it at uh, Mustafa Center so if I have time today I'll, I'll, I'll go there as well Mustafa Center is a, a, a 24 hours uh, a mall where you can get everything, literally everything in Mustafa Center. And now uh, I am at Ateka, at, uh, Campbellin Lane. This is one of the famous lanes. So I'm, I'm going to show you how it, does it looks like. Yeah, 
this is how the street looks like it's uh, quite nice uh, you just like you know walk around and look around and, uh, like this. so I i'm gonna go to jodi pushpa shop Okay guys, uh, I'm going to show you uh, all these Ayurvedic stuff, uh, that mean herbals from India and uh, most, most of them they are also written in Tamil and also English. Uh, I'll show you one by one what is it about like uh, and, and the usage. I, I'm not really sure uh, uh, the exact usage, I've just used some of them. But I'll, I'll show you uh, the entire list which are available here, right? Okay, it's fasting, this is stomach worms, insect bites. Okay, we have Vildum. Vildum, I know it's a, it's a very good medical uh, leaf. And this is how, and uh, what is the use? The next is Chambaran Tantu. Chambaran Tantu. How does this use? Okay, the usage of it. Navel Patei. Navel Patei is for diabetics. Those motions and skin days. Uh, we have Tripili. Uh, Ipalongum. It's so cold. Okay. Uh, Adimaturam. Okay, uh, don't mind. <laughs> Uh, Adi Makaran. Okay, uh, don't mind. <laughs> uh, there's, uh, there's someone on the phone next to me. Okay, Adi Makaran. Okay, they have Nivika. It's Amla. Uh, a lot of people, they know that uh, this is uh, mainly used for hair. And uh, also, uh, science, cough, cold, epics. So good. This, uh, it's for stomach gas. Karigai. Karigai. Jarika. I don't know if people use Jarika. Yeah. That's, uh, okay. Chitta, Chitta Ratai. Hmm. Vendain. Yeah. This, I think this is normally used for uh, cookings. Arugambar. Oh, wow. Uh, Arugambar is, uh, I, I think it's, uh, it's a kind of like a grass that's uh, uh, we give for Ganesha, for praise. Orital Gambar. Orital Gambar. Okay. And guys, these are all 100% uh, Ayurvedic. That means it's herbal. Okay. Black turmeric. Recently it was uh, going quite uh, viral on the net, saying that it's a uh, pergamento. It's a black turmeric. Okay. They have all in packets. All of these are in powder forms. Okay. Okay, most these are all for diabetics. Okay, Kula Nili. Okay. Uh, just pick. Just pick. Uh, Arat Toda. Arat Toda, yeah. You know, this, some names it's uh, very bombastic. Uh, which I've been having like um, uh, hard to pronounce it. Jemima. Usually this one uh, is taken for, I think, uh, uh, fat loss. Yeah. Kari Salam Dhani. Uh, Kari Salam Dhani. Kari Salam Dhani, yeah. <laughs> Guys, I don't know how to read Tamil. So I'm just reading the Romans of, uh, uh, translated from uh, Tamil to English. Or maybe Romans, yeah. Uh, John this, you go. Okay, this one is done. Uh, Porutalik. I don't know what this means, Porutalik. Kuppe Nini. Okay, Kuppe Nini. Avarambu. Okay, I've heard of this name. Peace, good luck. Uh, it's for epic thirst. Uh, body heat and order. Okay, recently it was uh, going quite uh, viral on the net, saying that it's a uh, pergamento. It's a great tonight. Okay, they have all in packets. All of these are in powder forms, okay. Parapai. Akarapai. <laughs> okay, Akarapai. Okay, uh, yeah, it's for diabetics also. Okay, most of these are all for diabetics. Okay, Kila Nili. Okay. Uh, Aratora, Aratora, yeah. You know, this, some names it's uh, very bombastic, uh, which I've been having like um, uh, hard to pronounce it. Jemima. Usually this one uh, is taken for, I think, uh, uh, fat loss. Kari Salam Dhani. Kari Salam Dhani. Kari Salam Dhani, yeah. <laughs> Guys, I don't know how to read Tamil, so I'm just reading the Romans of, uh, it's translated from uh, Tamil to English, or maybe Romans, yeah. Yeah, John this, you go. Okay, this one is, huh? Uh, Kuritalik. You know what this means, Kuritalik. Kuppe Nini. Okay, Kuppe Nini. It's the Singapore Club. Yeah. This is uh, authentic. 
So this is how it looks like, the club. They have rules, no smoking, no shouting, no spitting, no cutting glasses, no credit, no bargaining, no gambling, no talking loud, no mischief making, no outside food, no sexual discrimination, no flirting with cash, <laughs> no foreign currency allowed, no sleeping in the toilet, only staff, staffs are allowed. Wow, this is nice, this is cool. Yeah, nice chill out place, you see. They have a carpet grass here. And this is the church. Wow, quite nice. It's uh, totally white and uh, it's called Methodist Church. Okay, if you're coming across this uh, uh, over that side, it's City Road and this is uh, Curve Road. Curve Road, yeah. So it's at Curve Road. You can they see this is a very nice church. And I don't think so, there's a service right now. Uh, it's closed. Probably they have a service time for this, right? Nice. Okay, anybody wants to go to church once they are at Little India, you can come here. Okay, back to where I am right now. I'm going to find this uh, this place called Singapore Pools because it's a Saturday today. So Saturday and Sunday they have a uh, number. They have uh, this uh, 40 going on. So I'm going to find this place. Actually, I I'm not a person who gamble, but uh, you know, it's for fun. So when I'm here, I know that I've been here like, um, you know, I used to stay at uh, Bukit Merah last time. So usually Bukit Merah, it's uh, quite centralized. So I used to come over this side. Uh, always during the weekends to you know uh, catch my late uh, late lunch or dinner okay if you can see over here can you see the temple right at the end uh, somewhere right at the end that's the temple okay uh, I'll be going to that side uh, later once I bought this number because the number in Singapore they will close at uh, oh my god six o'clock and I can see a long queue. I'll show you how the queue looks like. Uh, I think I need to wear my mask. Okay. This mask is a bit like suffocating because it's a, it's a thick cloth. Okay. Okay, this is the queue. There's a U queue going on here, ending there, and going to the shop. Authorized dealer for Singapore Pools. Yep. So I, I think I need to spend maybe 15-20 minutes here, waiting at the queue. Okay, while I'm here, uh, I'm going to tell you about, uh, because since I'm waiting, uh, maybe I can talk about my the song, which I have uh, produced, I think, two weeks back. I did a rap song, it's a storytelling rap. Uh, the title of the song is uh, My Father, My Hero. Uh, I'm sure most of you all, uh, must have heard this song whoever are following my channel and also in my Facebook and Insta I have written that song uh, after my father passed away because um, he, he passed away due to an accident he didn't run accident that was in year 2014 on 8th of July it was a day that uh, I was in my office I was in my office, there, there wasn't anybody in my office, it was a Saturday on my, uh, when I was working in my office, all, I was all alone because I was on standby and um, usually what I'll do, uh, I'm not a person who listens to songs, I'm, I'm more to like musics, so I'll go to all the sites, uh, sometimes uh, on uh, YouTube and sometimes on particular sites and uh, I'll listen to this, uh, the beats, beats as in like music, blank musics. 
so that uh, I came across this particular music which made me to cry and uh, I, I, I was totally breaking down at that moment so it was like that that music reminds me of my father and uh, it, it really brings a lot of grief inside me so what I did uh, without me realizing it I was just starting to write write something on that song because uh, sorry on, on that music because that music was like um, uh, it, it was trying to tell me something so I, I realized that uh, some kind of like vibe some kind of like energy uh, around me uh, I really thought that uh, I really believe it was my father so I was starting to uh, write some lyrics I, I wouldn't say it's lyrics but something regarding the song I, I want to mime uh, I want to sing something to that song to that to that music sorry uh, and what happened was I only took about like uh, you won't believe me uh, it took around like uh, three hours maybe around three hours to complete the entire song with three verses and chorus uh, I I couldn't believe that I was the one who wrote that song because uh, you know for me I I, uh, I I couldn't imagine of those kind of like uh, for me I would say like uh, some uh, some lyricists for them it's it's very simple but for me I, I'm just a boy next door who who don't know how to write in Tamil who don't read Tamil books I don't have any reference of like uh, how Tamil poems or Tamil things um, you know they will sound but when I was thinking about the lyrics again I I realized that I I couldn't be the one who wrote this this thing you know uh, that's something that I, I cannot imagine that I was the one who wrote all this so for me it's a uh, very superstitious yes and uh, that's the song who which has uh, bring some recognition for me uh, before this I wrote Pitan Kadali Kadali all this was just like one of the song out there that's it but this is the only song that I received a lot of feedbacks a lot of appreciations people people told me that um, they they congratulated me they, they told me that I did a good job and uh, they said this song also have you know um, connected to them heartfully uh, it, it gives them kind of like vibes and some some of them they even cried I couldn't believe that uh, my father is still around to lift me up. Yeah, even though he's not around here with me physically, but the song that he made me to write actually has uh, given me a lot of uh, recognitions. So I'm I'm so so happy for that, and uh, I'm very thankful for that. Yeah, I'm done with the number. Uh, just uh, took in a very small amount because I, I, I don't usually gamble so sometimes when I'm here just for the sake of memory I'll just go to the place and you know get something that's it that's about it uh, this is the police station Rocho NPC Rocho neighborhood police center so that's right exactly uh, right, right opposite the uh, Singapore pools uh yeah i was telling you about my father's song uh yeah if, if you all uh have not heard that song yet please go to my link uh in my youtube and you can listen to the song and uh one more thing if uh, those uh, that song it's uh, it's written and uh, delivered in tamil uh, uh, tamil language but if uh, anybody who doesn't understand tamil they can actually go to the uh, the CC caption list, which is available on uh, on YouTube, and you can click that. So you'll get the uh, subtitle. So I've written a subtitle in English for those who don't understand uh, Tamil, All right? And at the same time, you can still check out my other song, which is Pitten. Uh, it's uh, it's on the same channel as well. It's called Pitten. So, so far I have two songs in YouTube and uh, if you go to my uh, Spotify, Rogatron, the link is also available on my father, my hero's description. You can check it out. And in that link you can find three songs. 
which uh, one of my songs which I've written on uh, 2015. But I don't have a, a, a videography on that. So it's just an audio. So you can listen to the song as well. So now uh, I'm actually at uh, Virasami Road. And uh, this, this area, which is in front of me, it's called Serangoon Road. So this is the Serangoon Road Virama Kaliaman Temple. Virama Kaliaman Temple is one of the uh, one of the oldest temple. The oldest temple in Singapore, it's called Mariaman Temple that's, that's located at Chinatown. So if you guys happen to go to Chinatown, you can find this Mariaman Temple that is the oldest temple in Singapore. And this uh, Virama Kaliaman Temple, it's one of the oldest. Okay, so it's currently, I think it's closed due to this uh, COVID. It's not been open yet. And uh, yeah, but uh, there's a lot of like devotees, uh, whoever cross uh, that gate, that front gate. And uh, I will show you uh, the main road, which uh, we was looking at just now from the other side. Okay, this is it. Okay, I can't go further because uh, it's coming to the main road. Actually, I'm st already standing at the first lane on the right where I'm not supposed to. Okay. Yeah. So uh, uh, across the road over that side, you can find a lot of like pawn shops and a lot of like jewelry shops. Okay. We have uh, like uh, Chinese jewelry shops, uh, Indian jewelry shops, and also uh, beauty parlors. You can see people leaving their sandals and praying. These people, I believe, they are not passerby. They just came here to pray. Okay. Guys, there's a shop that I want to show you that they have a lot of like uh, statues. You know, statues like statues, a lady, yeah, and we have statues of, this is Vishnu, you see Vishnu, yeah, this shop filled with statues, not the normal statues, these are quite gigantic. This can cost you like few thousands, I think. Right? This is uh, Ganesha. Right? Uh, I don't think so. I'm going inside the shop because it's uh, quite fragile, but uh, I'll show you all this. This elephant is beautiful. You know, I love elephants. Azmi Chapati Kima. Okay. Okay, what's so special about this Kima shop is that it's it's uh, it's been here for a very long time, I don't know, uh, even before I'm here.
and these are the sides okay so i'm gonna order this now this is my chapati two chapatis and uh, this is the chicken it's quite big quite huge a big piece so two chapatis with one chicken it cost me six dollars do you think it's worth it i uh, i don't know but yeah for occasions yes for lunch it's chapati for dinner it's chapati 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 okay so it's um, 5:40 right now what's the time with this mm, probably i'll be walking to mustafa i i don't think so i'll be going inside mustafa because i have nothing to shop there i've done with my shopping at uh, jodi puspa shop jodi flower shop So I'm just gonna show how Mustafa looks like from outside. Okay. Uh, I'll just walk a bit further because it's a long walk to Mustafa. No, you can't resist Bangra songs. You can't resist Bangra songs. Okay. If if you are someone who loves music. You know what kind of music will stir you up. Okay, this is why I love to come to Little India and also Chinatown. Yeah, they have uh, similar to this in Chinatown, or even more than this in Chinatown. I'm going to another shop here. So there's like a one for three eighty, three for ten. You know, I don't know what are all this, but I'm I'm very sure these are all accessories used by girls. There are actually so many things you can get. Okay, once you are in Little India, <laughs> I'm not promoting into Little India for any reasons. You know, uh, uh, it, it just based on my uh, interest and experience. Oh yeah, most of the guys' favorites is this shop, medical department store. Okay, this is medical department store. Are you guys seeing it? It's a medical department store. And these are all the medicines. The medicines are Absolute Vodka, Famous Cross, Jim Beam, Chivas Regal Mac Duels, Golden Blue, Absolute Vodka, Old Rum Mac, Old Monk Rum, okay, uh, Golden Blue, Red Labels, Black Labels, Jack Daniels, Teachers, Duos, and uh, they have miniatures as well. These are the medicines available in Singapore, right? If you want to get your medicine in Singapore, you should come to Little India and go to this medical shop. Okay, there's a mosque here. This mosque, and it's also closed. 
Okay, that's uh, somewhere near Park Royal Hotel, one Ferrer Hotel, and connections. Okay, if you want to stay somewhere near Mustafa, these are the hotels. Everybody in Singapore must at least once have gone into this mall, Mr. Mustafa's Center. Okay, so this is Mustafa Center. One reason I don't want to go in because it will be so crowded, and this Mustafa Center doesn't look uh, this small. Okay, I'll show you how big it is. I'm already at the end of this road where, which I told you, this is Mustafa, okay? That is from that end where we were just now, right there. And coming all this way to this stretch, okay, you can see it's curving to the left. And not only that, you can see an overhead bridge over here, do you see that? Okay, that overhead bridge connects to this Mustafa. Okay, so this is Mr. Mustafa number two. Have uh, travels, Mustafa travels, Mustafa money change, Mustafa blah blah blah, Mustafa whatever lah, everything under Mustafa. Okay, it's located at uh, Site Albi Road. Okay, where's that? Site Albi Road. Okay. This Mustafa Center, it, uh, it, it's uh, in the uh, places of interest in Singapore. If you were to like uh, search for places of interest in Singapore, it's located there. Okay. You know, I came here to do window shopping, but I don't dare to go in because why? If I go in, I, I will uh, at least spend like hundred dollars, just like that. For what? You have everything. You have everything here. Okay. Once you don't have. Uh, your list, what you're gonna get from Mustafa, you'll tend to get whatever you see, whatever that interests you, because whatever's inside here, it's very damn bloody interesting. And um, most of the stuff which Mustafa Center has, you rarely can find it outside. Okay, that's like, uh, okay, for example, uh, camel's milk, camel's milk, and camel's milk with caramel. It's something that I, I don't really see it anywhere outside. I've never come across uh, the kind of like milk uh, in uh, 7-Elevens or, or Guardians or... No, anywhere, I've not seen it anywhere. Just, just, uh, I'm just talking about like one product, okay? One product. Camel's milk. Mustafa has it. If you want to go for like rhinosaurus milk, I don't think so Mustafa has it. But camel's milk, yes. They have it here. Okay, I'm going out from Mustafa side Albi Road, heading back to. Uh, I think I'm gonna go to Ferrara Park. Oh, what's the time right now? It's six o'clock. I still have time, so I'll just walk. I really love that, I really love that rose and the jasmine as well because the smell of the rose, it's a uh
come to Indian places uh, somewhere in the uh, late afternoon, somewhere around like 5, 6 o'clock because this is how it will look like and the ambience and uh, you know with the flowers with that uh, fragrance this is the good day parlor which i told you just now about the beauty parlor and uh, there's another one called istara that is a jewelry shop they have like uh, other stem jewelry i mean it's, uh, lucky jewelry yeah so many Uh, some 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 portals of Indies which you can't find. I'm very sure that you can find it here. You know, from the smallest to all the big big stuff. Um, you have everything here. Uh, the thing coconut. But uh, what's so different about this coconut is this coconut is not been shaven. Okay. They put a hole in this coconut. Can you see? You know? So this is how it looks like. They put a hole inside the coconut. So it's no more shaven. So I didn't know about this technology. So it's pretty new for me. Yeah, enjoying this coconut. Time for me to go back. So I'm heading towards Harbour Front. Next train it's four minutes. Okay. So I had a great time in uh, uh, Little India. In other words, they call it a steka. It's uh, going to be seven o'clock. So it's pretty fun. Okay, this is my Easling cut. I'm a Marvel fan. Uh, I'm a fan of this guy, Hulk. Okay, so, yes, how much left? 34. Okay. They have uh, safety commuting uh, guidelines in all four languages English, Tamil, Chinese and Malay This is an automated train Train stop and open Wait for alighting passengers Then you go in Okay, I'm gonna cut this video